Hello there. Today we're going to answer a question from one of our agent users, Dempo J. She asks, "I am working with a seller to get his home sold. What if the buyer, uh, what if the end buyer is not working with an agent? Do I, by default, receive the full commission, even though I do not have dual agency, or am I required to have dual agency agreed to slash signed by both parties to receive full commission?" I just hosted an open house today for a personal listing and 75% of the folks there came unrepresented. So this is a great question and congrats on your listing, Dimple. Uh, the answer is no, you do not absolutely need to uh, be a dual agent. And this is again for context in New York where you have such a thing as dual agency. So you, you do not need dual agency to receive the full commission if the buyer is unrepresented. In fact, we recommend that you continue to be a quote unquote seller's agent. So you have full fiduciary duty loyalty to the seller and you just simply explain that. It's much easier of a conversation. You simply say, hey, uh, great to meet you. I'm Dimple, I represent the seller, um, but I will treat you fairly. Now let me show you the property. So this way you can continue. You don't need to you know, try to get them to agree to dual agency, which is much more difficult to explain. And you, they can continue to be a, a essentially a customer um, that you work with, but you don't represent them. You represent the seller. And of course, keep in mind, even though you do this, it is important at first substantial contact with all new potential customers, especially in situations like this where you're um, you know, meeting them for a first time at an open house, you need to make sure you send them the proper disclosures. Now this listing is in New York. Uh, there's a great software that we came out with called CribFox. It can help you send these disclosure forms easily with one click and you can save them so you have a record that you've sent them. This way you can see YA, make sure that if there's ever a dispute about commission, uh, you can uh, very easily prove that you've sent them the required disclosure forms such as the New York um, buyer and seller agency disclosure form, as well as the housing and anti-discrimination um, disclosure form, which is required for sales. And if you're representing a, um, a rental listing, you also need to send them the reasonable modification form. You can send all three of these via CribFox with one click, um, and we'll show you how. So essentially, let's say you were doing this and you met a couple, you would need to send these two forms as discussed and you would send it to the couple, let's say these two people. Now this, and then you would, for the agency buyer seller disclosure form, um, you would say they're a buyer and you're of course acting as a seller's agent as we discussed. And then this way you can send four forms to two different people uh, with just one click, very simple. We hope you found this helpful. Check us out, cribfox.com. You can sign up for your free account today. And if you're not already familiar with Cribfox, start sending real estate disclosure forms to your clients with one simple click today. Check us out at cribfox.com to sign up for a free account. With Cribfox, agents can quickly and easily send required disclosure forms for their state with just a few simple clicks. They can preview what they're about to send. And that's it.